Okay, um, as a fair example of the Jacobian, suppose that you want to integrate y over x squared, the a, over a region of integration r, which is given by these inequalities, okay? So, uh, the point is that from these inequalities, you should recognize this region. How would you do that? Well, remember that to represent an inequality, you represent the equalities first. So, like the equality y over x equals 1, right, y over x equals 1 is the same as saying that uh, y equals x. And y equals x is a straight line through the origin, which is the one that you see here. The equality y over x equals 9 is the same as saying that y equals 9x, and so that gives you this other straight line. And then the equality 2 equals x times y is the same as saying that y equals 2 over x, and y equals 2 over x is like this type of curve. And the equality x times y equals 4 is the same as saying y equals 4 over x, which is this other type of curve. So uh, that's how you would represent this region of integration. And so the point is that the integral has to take place over this region. But now uh, the idea is that if you were trying either using the y dx or the x dy, this is an integral, this is a region which is hard to find the bounds for. I mean, you have to divide, like to actually do the integration, you will need to split this region into many pieces. So that's not the approach that we're going to take. The approach that we will take is just a one of using a, a suitable uh, change of variables. Uh, now, what change of variables do you use? Uh, you basically use a change of variables which makes the these equations easy to work with. So the, the easiest thing to do is to call u y over x and v x times y. So that in this way, the inequalities become uh, 1 is less than u less than 9 and 2 is less than v less than 4. OK? So in other words, if you were to represent this region on the uv plane, right, this yellow curve remember was uh, y times x equals 4, but x times y or uh, y times x is v, so this gives you the equation v equals 4, so here's v equals 4. The, uh, the blue curve was x times y equals 2, but x times y is now v, so this is v equals 2. And then the y equals 9 times x is the same as saying that uh, y over x equals 9 or u equals 9. So here you get u equals 9. And uh, y equals x is the same as saying that y over x equals 1 or u equals 1. And so uh, this tells you that this is how each of these curves looks like on the uv space. And uh, this means that this region really corresponds to this rectangle uh, on this, uh, in this world. If you were to put like some uv glasses that distorts this image, this image gets distorted into a rectangle under these uh, coordinates. Okay, so that's uh, the first thing to realize. So that actually solves this, the question about finding the, the bounds, which was step two. Okay, so we just did step two. Now for step one, we have to rewrite the function as a function, uh, as a function of u and v. So really what we need is to write y and x in terms of u and v, not the other way around. So for step one, notice that, uh, let's see, step one. Notice that u times v, u times v will be uh, y squared, 
which means that y equals the square root of u times v, okay? And then uh, u divided by v, or let's see, v divided by u, that's better. v divided by u will be x squared if you work it out. So that means that x is square root of v divided by u, okay? So now that we have u and v in terms of y and x, or more importantly, y and x in terms of u and v, we can start changing, uh, working out this integral. So uh, before working, uh, writing out something more precise, just notice that uh, what is y over x squared? y over x squared is y times one over x squared. y is root of u times v. And x squared is, x squared was v over u. So one over x squared inverts things around and so you get u over v. Okay, so uh, y divided by x squared is really uh, what this will give you is u to the 3 halves divided by square root of uh, v. Okay. And then uh, Yes, that's okay. Now, uh, so this is what we would get replaced here. So the integral, the integral that we need to do is basically say, uh, it will be an integral, remember the bounds get changed so let's say we could go from one to nine, and then from two to uh, four, of what? Y over X squared, that got replaced by U to the three halves divided by V to the one half. And then uh, the only thing that's left is to find the Jacobian, which is what we have to do still so we have to find the Jacobian of u comma v, and then uh, that will get multiplied by dv du. So the problem will be done as, after we have a formula for the Jacobian. So what's the Jacobian in this case? Uh, well, the Jacobian is precisely this formula. So uh, I think it's a good moment to erase these other things. Again, uh, let's think of x as v to the one half times u to the negative one half. That's easier for doing the differentiation. And y as u to the one half, v to the one half. So the Jacobian, uh, the best way to remember it is as a determinant of a two by two matrix. Uh, well, the absolute value of a determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix, which is x u, y u, uh, x b, y b. So let's try to see what that gives us. x with respect to u is negative 1 half u to the negative 3 halves times uh, b to the 1 half y with respect to u is one half u to the negative one half v to the one half x with respect to v is one half v to the negative one half uh, u to the negative one half sorry, uh, yeah, yeah, that's okay and uh, y with respect to v is uh, one half u to the one half v to the negative one half. And so again, you have to take the absolute value of the determinant. The determinant gives you 
Uh, everything has a one half, so you actually get like a one quarter. So let me just put it here outside of everything so that it doesn't bother us more. So you get uh, u to the negative three halves times u to the one half. That's uh, u to the negative one. v to the one half times v to the negative one half. That just gives you one. So uh, let me not put anything. And then uh, here you put uh, uh, u to the negative one half times u to the negative one half. This gives you u to the negative one. Oh, sorry, there's a minus here. That's like what I was getting wrong. So there's a minus here. And then, uh, so this was minus u inverse. And then there's a minus from the formula from the determinant. And then when you multiply this one times this one, that gives you u to the negative one. And v to the one half times v to the negative one half, that gives you uh, one. So you just get, uh, you get this. You get the absolute value of of minus two u inverse so you get one quarter times two u inverse so meaning that the because the absolute value cancels these negative signs meaning that the Jacobian is uh, one over two u okay okay so now um, we found that the value for the Jacobian is one over two u we no longer this need this. So the integral, we're almost done. The integral we have to do is from one to nine, two to four, u to the three halves, divided by v to the one half, times one over two u, dv du. And uh, basically this gives you one over nine, one to nine, it gives you one half, of the integral from one to nine of two to four of uh, y. U to the one half, v to the one, uh, v to the negative one half. It's better to write it this way. Uh, dv du. And let's do it here. I mean, now this is like a standard integral. I will just put some steps. So uh, when you integrate first with respect to v, uh, you add one, so you get square root. Uh, you get just, uh, I mean, you can use this one half, I guess. So this gives you what? It gives you the integral from one to nine of u to the one half times square root of v. Yeah. Evaluated at four and two du, uh, so that's two minus square root of two, and then this one uh, gives you u to the three halves, uh, two thirds u to the three halves, at, uh, nine and one, and so this is two minus root of two times two thirds times. Uh, so this gives you. When you take square roots first, you get three, three, three cubed. That's um, what? That's twenty-seven. So you get twenty-seven minus one, uh, which is just twenty-six. So I mean, obviously, you could do some simplifications, but the point is not that uh, right now. It's just. Uh, so that you see how easy it became to do the integral and this would not have been as easy if we had not tried the change of variables.